Welcome back to the show. This is Why is Tiffany So Talented? And it's a special edition because I'm making this gorgeous red number. And I'm excited because I'm going to see Beyonce in Vegas. And her opening number was a cute little red dress that is similar to this. Oh, I can't wait for you to see it. Welcome back to the show. This is the latest dress. It's gonna be so pretty. So basically what I'm doing on this one is just doing some really cool frames with all the different kind of specialties I have over here. And it's gonna be gorgeous. It's a full, full on red dress, all red specialties, nothing in a special color for accent or anything, just ruby red. I wonder what her shoes look like. She should let me put some stones on her shoes. That would be really pretty. New dress alert. So this is my next one. And then I don't know when I'm gonna get around doing this Alicia Keys version dress here. And I just call it Alicia Keys because it has the piano, but it's really pretty. So I'm gonna mimic that on that one. I don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but this is the new dress alert. And this is a new dress alert as well. <laughs> but I'm gonna be doing this one before I get to those two. And this one is gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, let me get to it. So Priscilla pulled some specialties that the client specifically wanted me to use. So these moons and these diamond shapes in two different sizes. The moons are two different sizes too. These pears, but she didn't pull any flat pack stones. So let me grab this so you can see this while we walk to the back to get some flat backs. Isn't this drawing cute? Oh. I love the way the fringe is lined and just hangs off the hip. It's not connected except for in the middle. So you know I'm definitely going to do a cute little accent right there, right above the boom boom. It's going to be cute, cute, light cyan right there. That's exactly what I need. Let me grab two. That's ruby. Two packs of 16s, two packs of 20s. So, superior quality is the exact same as Preciosa, it's just in a different packaging, different tier level. We don't have any 30s. I see 34. Okay, this is a 30, 30, 34, and a 40. What else is these? A 40s too. You know what? I'm going to just take it all. All right, so that is my flat backs. Now, let's get back to my desk, tray these out, and get started. See what I mean when I say that it's just uh, lined and hanging down? It's not really connected anywhere but here in the center so i'm gonna do a really cute brooch right there i'm gonna do another really cute brooch right here all right so you know what i can actually do a similar brooch in this intersection and maybe here as well 
Hmm. See, this one is tricky because it's just above where this brush should be. Or maybe I can just make this all one. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so I'm almost done with this frame. It looks really good so far. All the ones that have the pins in them still, I need to glue down, which pretty much are the bigger stones, but it's looking good. It's looking good. Got my brooch going on right there. Got my brooch going on right here. Something similar, but horizontal here. And I'm gonna make a smaller version for that intersection right there. But it looks good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this one here that kind of shoots off the side of the bust. This one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these straps though at the top. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use these moons to fill it in. We shall see. But it's cute. It's starting to give the Beyonce vibes. So this is as far as I have gotten. Just a beautiful, elegant, dramatic looking frame all throughout the gown. It's really a glorified swimming suit with a lace droop. But whatever, it's gorgeous. Here is the back brooch finished. I got all my upper straps done and all that's left now is to, I'm going to do a really thick frame in my sprinkle and then sprinkle down in fade in density. Same with here, maybe really heavy along this line, fade in density that way. And I think I'm going to do a heavy fade frame here and then fade in density going up. Or maybe, yeah, no, because this one, this is flat. So maybe I'll do heavy here, around here, like that, in an arch, and then fade in density going this way because I don't want to take any of the dramatics from this brooch here. But it's gorgeous. Yes, yes it is. All right, let me get to that so this dress can be done. I can't believe I got all this work done in one day. If I sprinkle this now, I literally could be done with this just before five o'clock. Look, it's 4.30, that's my cool kid. But yeah, it could be, I can get that sprinkle done in 30 minutes and this whole dress will be done one day. Bye out. All right, so I chalked out where my heaviest part of the flatbacks are gonna be way around and then around this side of the bus. I think it'll be pretty. Okay, I decided to extend it around this way just because I'm not gonna fade this one. I think I'm gonna make this one heavy. So I wanna be able to have it fade up. You'll see, you'll see. All right, this is what I got done so far yesterday. All light cyan stones. No accent. No nothing. But this is a density I think I'm going to go for as far as the 16s. I'm going to go back in with the size 12s and kind of sprinkle over it. And move on to this one. It's pretty, right? I like this little brooch up here.
so I got the bodice done. Both of the busts are done equally in density. I got this center portion here. I just decided to just fade it in size instead of density. So all of the bigger stones, like my size 30s, are along that first chalk line, and then all the smaller stones go out that way. I'm gonna do the same for these panties, and then this dress will be done. Can you see the Beyonce influence yet?
Thank you so much for coming to check out my Beyonce inspired dress. Oh, it came out so lovely. Did you see Anastasia dancing in it? Oh, it just melted my heart to watch her dance. I love the way that she moved, just so slow, so sultry. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a gorgeous dress, and I had an amazing time at the Beyonce concert. Did you see my daughter? She was going wild. <laughs> But we had such a good time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Drop it in the comments. Send me an email at, at TiffanySoTalented at gmail.com. See you in the next one.